Hey guys, Nofish here, and I'm bringing you my first ever Let's Build. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a large Tudor Manor house. Um, so, I'm just going to get these materials. You can use these three logs when it comes to building it. So, you've got your lovely, plain, kind of sort of generic um, oak wood, your deep, mahogany rich spruce. <laughs> and your dark oak log which is kind of a mixture between the two um, for this since I don't have any spruce in my survival I'm going to use dark oak so what you want to do is figure out where you want to have the front so I'm going to start the door here so go three along like so then go along five make sure though you don't put one here and go along five here it's got to go smoothly across. So do the same on the other side. Is that five? Yep, yeah, that's five. And then you're going to have to put three and three. <laughs> three and three. And it will give you this sort of, I don't know what to call it, shield, dome effect. Yeah, I'll go for dome effect. Now you can always have it so that this is 5, 5, and then not bother. Because it will look quite nice actually if you do the 5, 5, 5 on all sides. But sometimes you like to have a bit more variation and depth. So I've noticed that I've been getting quite a few views on my videos, which is astounding really, I'm quite happy and I've got 9 subscribers, I'm hoping to reach the goal of 10 by some point next week or something I don't know, but yeah um, I'm glad for all the support that you guys have given me um, just through likes and for those that have disliked thank you because it then shows me that I need to improve on something um, I know some of you are from my school and have subscribed because I forced away, but yeah, so go along and do this on all sides, and what you're going to want to do is raise this by four, just like that, go along, three, and do this for every bit, so I'm going to get that done, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have sorted that all out, and as you can see, it clearly shows where you can different have the different rooms. So you could have a nice little living room here, corridor through here, another living room, some side rooms, maybe a guest room or something. So for the second floor, and I'm just doing the skeleton first because it's much easier to do that first than everything else. Get a log and place it here on the corners for this block, this block, this block, but not for this block or for the one over here this is because you're going to want them to be flush for when you're building the roof and you only want them to not be flush around like the main bits or the elongated part because you can't really do multiple little roofs here because since these ones go back you can have it so that it's oh, segmented I think that's a word or if not just shoot me in the head so yeah so get this all sorted around here and I'll be making sure that this is on Instagram, not the video, but the build so you can check out what the fully finished thing is um, at good angles. So do this, oh, make sure you do that as well. Um, yeah. Also, um, instead of people disliking my videos, I would much appreciate it if you could comment what you think is bad about my videos. Um, how I could improve it, some links maybe, because I prefer constructive criticism, just dislikes, um, because I understand that you're just trying to say that you didn't enjoy the video, but a comment would be much more appreciated, because then it means that I will be able to learn from what I did wrong. Um, I understand that the screen's all wobbly and things, it's because of the recorder I'm using, as I've stated in previous episodes. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this bit out and I'll be right.
back. Okay guys, so I have finished the second layer and it gives you this little jutting out technique um, which was oh, a bit of lag which was quite common in um, Tudor times where they would have it so that they would have a bit of an overhang so the women would walk on the left because they were wearing big frilly dresses and men would walk on the right and it was also so that when people were chucking their crap out the windows it would not land on the customers so for the next part it's probably the easiest but the most prolonging part is filled up the roof so you can do Nordic style and do two by two and so on and so forth to get your really elevated roof or you can just do a normal basic not in the ass style so going along like this then raising this um, up and the end roof do this for each one, placing one here and then one on top. You can have it so it's facing sideways but it's much easier to do it like this. And you do it so that it's at one point. And you do it all the way along but you only do it for these edges where it sticks out. So I'm going to get this done and I'm going to be right back. Hey guys, so I have started work on the roof. Um, I made a slight error earlier by not putting this here and starting it one in. And it didn't make it a proper roof because it wouldn't have gone concentric. Concentri it wouldn't have just gone one in, and it would have gone two in, and it wouldn't have looked good. So, the blocks I'll be using to do the roof are polished andesite, stone brick stairs, dark oak planks, and dark oak stairs. Um, so, yeah, you put the polished andesite on these bits here. This just gives it a nice little contrasting colour, like some of the Victorian buildings. Where where the roofs go went in, they would put these struts that would support them, um, and for here, I'll be doing the same, but I will be having dark oak stairs on the logs here instead of over here, because I quite like to have a bit of overhang on the side of the roofs. For this bit though, I learned from Lord Dacra that if you have it so that you have a stair facing forwards and a stair like this going up. When you put a sideways stair here and then one here, this will stay pointing in there, this will stay pointing that way, so it doesn't contradict each other. So I'm going to get this done and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back and this has taken much longer than I expected. So I have sorted out most of the roof. Damn my stupid brain, I forgot to do that last little bit. So, what I'm going to do is show you what um, to do for the top bit. So, usually on the top of the roof you have a drainage system, or it's flattened out, or it's nice and sharp. So, for this, I'm going to use stone slabs. This requires three smooth stone, which um, is easily obtainable. And I'm just going to put it in a fashion like this. As you notice, it's kind of got a light texture in this, and it's not a connected texture texture like this either. But it is really nice looking, and I'm going to use a stone stair for these elevated bits. When it elevates, elevator or lifts, as um, Americans say. So yes, um, I'm going to get all of this slabbed out, and I shall return. When hell freezes over, no, when I get this all sorted. So, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, guys, so I have slabbed it completely. And now for the little details on the roof. So, you see here where I have the slab. Remove this. Stick a stone brick stair facing that way. And stick another one there. And if you want it to have the head of a dragon or something, put one like that. So, it kind of sort of looks like a dragon's head, but... Not really, it's kind of mix and match really. Depending on your texture pack, it'll look different. So, I'm going to do that for the sides. And I'm going to just do normal, regular, generic, sticky-outy thingies for the rest. Um, yeah, if you're hearing things rubbing, it's because I'm wearing my onesie. And 
I'm in bed and I'm all comfortable and I just had a cup of tea and my voice feels like shit and oh my god. So yeah, um also audio might be down and also suggest me a good intro song because the current ones that I've got are just snidey Japanese shit and I like Japanese music at times but at other times it's just not useful. So yeah. Um I'm just gonna quickly cut and be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I've realised a bit of a boo boo I made. I know I just said boo boo, don't make it like oh my god he likes a boo boo. So stick two up like this, two andesite. Grab yourself a cobblestone wall and a where is it? I was in the wrong bloody category and a stone slab. You got yourself a nice little makeshift chimney. I just like to put that in, even though there's no such thing as heating or anything in Minecraft. So yeah. Um. Now for the walls. So for the bottom floor, you're gonna want to use cobblestone or stone brick. I like to use a mixture. So be careful when you're doing this as well, because this upper bit you have to be one behind when placing your blocks. Otherwise, it just looks like a flush little building, and it's not too good. So, for your doorways, just set it out like this, so it's too high for the door, and three. For this, I personally like to use a bit of oak planks. Stick that there, and stick some um, uh, cobblestone along here. And if you want, and you're feeling adventurous, stick some stone brick there. Um. I wouldn't recommend doing that on this bit though because you don't have much room but on here it will be perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm going to pretty much wall out the bottom floor and for the second floor what you want to what you want to use is diorite or polished diorite. Um where is it? Light grey wool or white wool or is there any snow? Snow. Snow, snow, snow problem. Um, snow. You're wanting to use a white coloured item. So, snow gives it that lightness, which is really good contrast. Light grey gives you that contrast, which blends quite a bit. Diorite is kind of a brighter cobblestone, I'd say. But it's the poor man's wool, really. And the unpolished stuff is the dirtier version so when I'm doing this I prefer to use white wool so it requires a ton of sheep farming and I don't mean like 15 sheep or something considering each of these 3x3 three three, um, portals require 8 wool the 5 require da -da -da -da, 12 and then that's not counting the rest of it so I'm gonna get this stuff filled in and I'll be right back Hey guys, and I'm back. So, I have filled in all the walls. So, this is kind of what they look like without any additional decoration. Um, at this point, it's up to you to decorate the outside, make it look pretty and nice. Um, I'm going to put my own interpretation of how I will decorate it on Instagram and probably as the thumbnail. So, yeah. Um... White wool works really well because it gives it that Tudor look. Um, you might want to also, for some bits like here, throw in some backing logs so that they don't um, show inside. And as you can see, it's got tons of space. You can have three attic rooms at least. And it is just a nice little nifty design. It's hard to achieve in survival and things. But, upon completion, you just get this immense sense of satisfaction. So, yeah, um, I'm going to leave you with this, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like, comment, um, do not dislike, please just comment for constructive criticism, um, and subscribe if you liked it. So, yeah, I'll see you later, and bye!